Hi, Gemini, and welcome to Silky Intuitive. What I've got here for you guys is a reading for the month of June 2017. Now, what I've got here is your general over at Vimeo. After I'm done with this, we're going to uh, roll a reading for your love life. Uh, now, a uh, couple of quick announcements before we start. First of all, um, I've got a special running for the summer. One question, one concern, $30. Break it down until we have some sort of clarity on it. The length of the videos run about 20 to 30 minutes. So it's a pretty thorough breakdown of one question, one concern. Now, <clears throat> on a more private note, for those of you who have outstanding invoices with me for private readings, please pay them. I do it this way for a reason. Um, I like to distribute the invoices myself. I like to deal with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I don't like doing the auto-pay buttons. I am willing to wait if you have to wait until payday or tax refund or whatever. I don't mind waiting, but when you make me wait two, three, even four months on some of them right now, guys, uh, I have to take offense at it and I do have to say something. So now I'm at the point where I have to say something. So Gemini, again, just pay the invoice. You've got an outstanding invoice and uh, you don't want it anymore, let me know, I'll be more than happy to send you a cancellation. Now, let's talk about you. <clears throat> Gemini, look what we've got here. We've got a rune for the month of June, and that's a rhyme. Let's see, we've got a rune here that really is the breakthrough. The breakthrough. Um, transformation, sunlight after darkness, um, it's always better past this room because this is about positive transformation and breaking through. It's completions, but positive completions. Endings, but successful endings. Now, in the first position, we want to talk about work. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. I think there's a direction. I think you have already gone through the breakthrough, whether it was a master's degree or a diploma, a certification or the acquisition of a really good job. You have a positive gateway open. It's a new opening. It's transformational on a financial level for sure. But I think for some of you, you're still trying to gain your balance. You're trying to get a hold of your footing with something that feels like it's based on the direction you choose. It's based on what it is that you want to do. But I think you're still trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. What's going to give your life the most balance? Work home, family, love, friends, associations, gatherings, parties, and still make time for this all-important, what I feel, new career to some of you. Uh, it is the right direction for you, but I think you're still trying to get a hold of what it is that you really want to do. Now, you're looking for the balance. What is it that's going to make your life complete in all aspects? You're looking for that solution. Where work is concerned, this card keeps coming up, the community card. I think for you, the solution for work it's to stay close in the community. Um, I really think this is showing your talents within 
the tight-knit community you belong in. I think this is like, for work, it's the word-of-mouth card. It's your neighbor finds out what you do, and then they tell a neighbor because they had their hair done by you, or you did their nails, or you gave them a massage, or you cooked dinner for them. Whatever this was, whatever the skill set you have, keep it within the community. Start small is the advice coming in my in in this crazy voice in my head. Stay within the community. Spread yourself out there. It will branch out. It'll grow octopus legs. And it's going to grow all over the place. But you have to start isolated and small. Now, within the home, the High Priestess and the Page of Wands, simply, you're on the right path. You're doing what it is that you are supposed to do. Pure and simple. It's the path that you have been guided to do because it is the ultimate skill set for you. It is around your home. Some of you may be deciding that you're working for yourself. It's the direction you want to accomplish. So some of you may be going with that. You may be going with what instinctively you know is the right thing for you to do. Uh, your children may be very much at the center of this concern, and that's why you've decided that an independent path may be more worthwhile a goal than to, say, go off and work for someone else. I get a lot of independence here, a lot of self-knowing, a lot of um, self-worth, and inner confidence with whatever this is that you're wanting to start in your home, Gemini. Clarifier. <laughs> the living room, like, or the family room. Some of you are going to turn your family room into your business. But I definitely feel this home connection to whatever it is this accomplishment is, is connected to it. Uh, it feels definitely like uh, you're looking for support from your family uh, while you take on this new endeavor of um, building maybe a home business for some of you. But it's really about following your own dreams and having the support of your partner, and your family, and I think that's here. All right, now, next position. What is unexpected? The Hermit and the Empress. Well, well, well. Some of you, actually, your timing couldn't be better because some of you, within this family-based situation, are about to find out that you're expecting a child. Maybe the first child, and that's why you're deciding to do this thing from home. Or it's a situation where you just want to be closer to your children. You would want to rather stay home with them than to go off to work every day. For some of you, you're able to bring that profession home and work quite happily from a home base. Um, you have creative ideas. A lot of it is about having a child or having the children be uh, the primary goal in the situation for you, Gemini. I would expect this from Gemini. Absolutely. Thoughts. I think somebody, I think your partner is thinking about how it is that they can be supportive. How can they help you in this, this project? I think they're very much 
thinking how they can creatively create the situation for you. The goal. The goal. How can they help you achieve this goal? Uh, for some of you, that might take you by surprise. Uh, but they are thinking about you and also the well-being of the family. Okay, next. Your role. The Death card and the Ace of Wands. You're going through transformation. That was determined very early on with the room. There's endings of old situations, fiery new beginnings in others. There's rebirth of spirit. There's a new sense of direction. There's a new path being cut according to you and what it is that you are desiring to accomplish. <clears throat> Where's your drive? Where's your passion? Your role is to transform that room into an office, transform that utility room into a beauty parlor, take a hold of the situation and transform it yourself. I've been saying to Gemini for a while, whatever you do here, you're going to have to focus for yourself. You're going to have to do it alone. You may have the support of a partner, the emotional support of a partner. But frankly, many of you are going to have to decide to do this yourself because it is about you and it is about what it is that you want. You're going to expect their help and their support, but for the most part, a lot of you are wanting to take this by the reins and do it yourself. I'm proud of you, Gemini. Good for you guys. Whoever this breakthrough is for, it's really very, very nice. The lovers making the choice, making the choice that goes heart over head. What is it about this choice that makes you so emotionally driven? Is it the fact that the children need you there? Is it the fact that you have another one on the way? Is it the fact that you just feel that this bond needs to be supported? Head over heart choice, or rather heart over head choice. This is the emotion over the brain. The brain is saying, well, maybe you will have more success outside of the home, but your heart in this situation is guiding you. Where is it that you really want to be on an emotional level with this breakthrough that you're going through, Gemini? You've got the transformation right there in your hands. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. And it's about your family, but it's about the direction that you want the family to go in. It's the direction that you want your life to go in. If you're not talking about children here, you should be. Because uh, <clears throat> this isn't just about you. It isn't just about you. There are others involved in this. That's what that's about. Now. Uh, let's look at the outcome. The King of Wands and the King of Swords. Uh, Male-dominated energy. Very uh, clear communication. Clear thought. But that clear thought is really kind of the combination of the fire, the passion, the drive, and the direction of the King of Wands. He knows what he wants. He smells out the target and he hits it. He goes for it and he gets exactly what he wants. Through clarity, through decisiveness, and through clarity. And so this is saying your outcome can be the whole package. 
but you need to communicate clearly with partners, with family, with children who are old enough to help, but with elements around you who can support you. A lot of that energy is male energy, uh, whether it's financial or it's physical labor or it's that banker you've been communicating because you need a loan. You've been communicating maybe with someone, a father-in-law here. Somebody's father-in-law is going to loan money to develop this to develop this business within the home. Uh, number one, some of you are uh, negotiating. Negotiating a compromise or a deal, but it feels very much based on this physical labor thing. Building a new business within the home. There's some negotiation, maybe some financial lenders in the mix. Uh, in order to make this thing come through. Um, hmm. One more. I want one more for you guys. Let's see. The main male. I've got a lot of male energy here. This is the support system. This is just reconfirming that there's the support of a partner, but there's also the support of a benefactor. Uh, a benefic benefactor, a um, a uh, someone who's um, maybe a proprietor, but he's there to be of benefit to you. Uh, his financial support may be in play here. But I think some of you are going to be turning to a powerful family member or, uh, again, I'm getting a bank figure or some sort of a financial broker that's going to lead you to the right breakthrough here. So, some of you are making a head over heart choice, but in the long run, it makes a very solid foundation. Uh, I have no pentacles here except the pentacle of balance, which for a new start, for whoever this is, for a new beginning, this is where you want to be. It's okay to be juggling situations. It's okay to juggle money, finances. Um, again, it's okay to uh, move sources of security from one place to another. It's better to be balanced that it is to have chaos around your money. So for me, it's all positive energy. This guy, he's got clarity. He's got clarity, he's got knowing. And with the King of Wands, he's also the drive to get it done. So I think that for whoever this is about, the clarity will be there around how to build this thing. It's also saying reach out for advice, reach out for advice. Transformation's coming. There he is, reach out for advice. He's the wise man who plays the role in getting you what you want. Reach out to that person. I think they're listening. I think they're listening. And I also think they want what you want. It doesn't have to be a physical card. But I think they also want what you want here. So, I think that's good for June, whatever you're building on, Gemini. It's nice and promising where this work situation is concerned for whoever it's meant for. Now, if it didn't mean anything to you, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Signs, uh, they can all be helpful if this makes sense. Sometimes those are just accents if this 
is uh, resonant for you. So, I think that's about all I've got for you now. Reach out to me through my website uh, for contact information, private reading information, or uh, my email address. Send me an email and I'll get back to you. Again, if, you're, if you guys are holding outstanding invoices, please pay them. That's all I'm asking you. Please pay them. Uh, it's incredibly important to me. This is my livelihood. And so let's keep up with that so I can get these readings done for you guys. It would be much appreciated. And uh, my $30 special, reach out to me for that if that's uh, appealing to you. And until the next time, guys, take care, be well, and peace.